tomorrow night. Charlton Heston's gonna be here. He's gonna sit right there, so tune in. And eight-year-old greeting card and trumpeter Mark Wright. So check that show out. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, my next guests say that dogs have more to say than we think. In their new book, What I'm Telling You, they explain how a dog's gestures are a means of communication. Please welcome dog experts Tim Fisher and Bill Connolly. Thank you. Okay. There you go. How are you? Yeah, uh, you guys, uh, these are very nice looking dogs, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys have a theory. I, I flipped through the book. I didn't have time to read it, but I flipped through the book. And, and your guys, but you guys basically believe that uh, dogs are communicating all the time. Well, that's, that's essentially our, uh, our book, Conan. Uh, through body language and various gestures, these dogs are sending signals to their masters. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, people assume that dogs do certain things because of instincts, but it's really, it's not that simple. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you've obviously you brought some dogs here, very fine-looking dogs. Uh... Right. This one here is uh, Randy. Can mm -hmm. we get a shot of this big guy? Yeah. Hey, that's great. Well, can you give, us an, give us an example of, of how okay, he's communicating? Well, okay, well, I'll give you an example. For this, for example, this fellow Randy, he'll walk in a circle whenever I stand up and appear to be leaving the room. Mm -hmm. And uh, this may seem like some sort of an odd, cryptic gesture, but all he's really trying to say is, please don't leave me. I love you. I want to play. Where are you going? And it's important to understand that mm -hmm. and let him know with a simple pat on the head that it's OK and you're going to be there for him. OK. Now, I, I, so one problem that a lot of people have is uh, dogs that go to the bathroom in the house. It's a very common problem. That is a common it's very problem, common with yes. teacup here. Mm -hmm. and, uh... <laughs> When uh, Teacup does this, what she's trying to say is, I made you something. Look, it's a present. It's all I have to give to show you that I love you. And you have to try to understand that that's, that's showing love. You don't want to punish that. You don't want to punish love. But on the other hand, sometimes the dog is doing it for a different reason. Sometimes he's saying, I'm angry. Where were you? I was all alone, and I had nothing else to do but this for you. I love you. Mm -hmm. OK, now, now tell us, and what you is you can't it? encourage that behavior. I, I, I agree with that. Now, this little guy right here, I mean, he actually, yeah, what does he do? He looks, he looks pretty feisty, this chihuahua. Yeah, that little it? chihuahua, his name's Corky, and mm -hmm. he is pretty feisty. What, um, one of his uh, classic Corky move is, uh, here, let me hold him. For you. Sure, there you go. Corky will jump on the couch, when it, but only when I'm on the couch. It's an odd thing, and, and I guess um, the main reason I think Corky does this is it's his way of saying, I'm one of you! I'm a human being like you! But the conflicting school of thought is that, uh, that he's saying the opposite. He's saying, you're one of me. We are both dogs. Let's watch dog TV together. Right, right, right. But the essential message is the same, which is, we're equals. We mm -hmm. are the we same. Are you and me, we are the same. Right. No, I, I understand that. It's funny, because I, I, I had a Cocker Spaniel once, and he just loved the couch. He really oh, did. Yeah. And uh, one day, I moved it. And, uh, you know, he started barking at the couch. And I just interpreted, you know, this was his way of saying, I don't like change! Put it back the way it was! I don't like change! And I thought, well, this is, you know, very reasonable. This is what he wants. <laughs> it's not how a Cocker Spaniel sounds. No. <laughs> well, wait a minute. No. Well, wait a minute. What is what do you mean that's not how a Cocker oh, Spaniel sounds? Is okay, that your name on the book? Whose name is on the book? Okay. Oh, well, no, it's all right. It's all right. It it's like okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You wrote the book. I don't know. I mean, no, I just... No, I know it's all right. It's okay. Listen, this is all very fascinating. I, I just wondered, does anybody in the audience have a question? Anyone at all? Uh, yes, you have a question. Yeah, uh... I, uh... <laughs> I have a dog that growls whenever I'm walking him, and uh, he, he sees another dog in the street, he starts growling on him. Uh, is he being territorial? Uh, is he saying, don't pee there! That's what I'm going to pee! Go away! That's a good question. That's a very good question. Yeah. That's a very good question. 
actually, sir, growling like that means that he's being protective of you. Hmm. That's, That's right. right. He's, he's, he's saying, this is my master. What the hell are you doing? You stay away from him. You stay he's away my from friend, my master. This belongs to me. You have if no business me. here. Keep walking, you. You will keep one foot in front of the other. Yeah, yes. Very good, yes. <laughs> <laughs>